and try and take your socks off because uh, you have to dance in your bare feet. As many of you that can. Mm -hmm. All right? All right. So I think she's, you're gonna have to watch her show you. And the first thing we wanna say is thank you to Tiade, to Mercedes and to Jose for inviting us to be part of this wonderful, wonderful series of workshops. And we will start off, like in many cultures, to do a salutation to Mother Earth, to thank her for the blessings that she can give us and giving us permission to dance on the Earth because we consider Earth very sacred, okay? So, come closer. Come closer, closer, closer. And what we do is we make a fist on our shoulders. We go into a nice plie, and all of that, all those who are ballet dancers, can go right down to the ground, touch the ground, and then touch your eyes to beg forgiveness. And then a big salutation to all the gods and all the powers that give us our nourishment and bless us every day. And particularly now through this pandemic that we're all experiencing to keep us safe and to help us keep dancing and keep us very, very healthy so that dance, the thing that we all love so much, we can continue with our dancing. All right, so part of the Natyam, the, the form that we do, is like ballet, a very difficult art form to learn. It's something that we train for at least 14 or 15 years to train in. It's difficult, it's hard on our legs and the rest of the body. It's something that it expects us to be very committed, just like ballet over the years. And we go into a very deep plie, just like ballet, but Different from ballet, can you all try and go into it? Go into a deep plie just like ballet. But like, unlike ballet, we have no opportunity to get up and down. We have to stay in this deep plie and do all our footwork in, the in this deep plie. And we're not allowed to get up from this plie. So you can imagine how difficult it is. So on the, our feet have to be really strong and Rachna will show you, come closer Rachna. She'll show you how strong, we're dancing on wooden floors, sprung floors, how difficult it is to tap our feet and get that really hard slapping sound on the ground. Okay. As I said, you, that's why I said you have to dance on a floor with no socks because you've got to be able to get that really strong footwork from that. So let's start with the very first footwork that we learn, which is, and she will call it out because these are syllables. These are actually drum syllables that we use to call out. To, for this footwork. She will come closer and say it to you as she calls out. So we're in the plie position that we call Aramandi. We're going to lift our right leg up and make it sound. So that's the first syllable, then the left leg. You kick up and make a sound. And she 
She's not allowed to go up and down. She has to stay in that position. So five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And that's the slow speed. to do it in another speed and then in another speed. So we take it up to four speeds because our rhythms can get very, very fast. Okay? And then we will show you the next step. And there are many, many steps and all these basic footwork steps take about five years to learn. Okay? That's part of our training. So let's go to the next one. Uh, just with a bit. The next foot is where you stand on the sole of your foot and then go flat. Okay? wooden block and I would call out the rhythms by beating on the block of wood. Okay? So let me start. One, two, and hit. So just to give you an example, and, um, and our feet are actually quite soft. They're not very hard. It's just years of training, and our feet remain quite soft. You must be thinking that they get very hardened over the years. Okay, so we'll show you another footwork to And each of these steps have a different name, their category, just like in ballet, all your different movements have a different name. So this one is called Natta Adavu because Natta means to stretch. Come closer and show it, where you're stretching the foot and your heel is up. But remember, this is still in a plie. Hold your plie first, go down to a strong plie, go down strong, and now do the stretch, okay? One, two, and stretch. Okay, so you might recognize that in Bharatanatyam, can you say it with me? Bharatanatyam. 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 Very good. It's a very geometrical form. You'll see that now when you start using your arms with the movement. <laughs> it's very geometrical as well as being symmetrical. What we do on the right, we also do it on the left. Okay? And it's symmetrical. It's always repeated what we do on the right. Not anymore in contemporary choreography. This is the traditional form. What we do in contemporary work 
we, we kind of morph it into different things, okay? So now let's use the arm. Let, let uh, uh, Rachna is going to come up closer to show you different hand gestures that we use. So maybe you want to try them with us. So this, this one is called Kataka Mukha. And the next one is Alapadma. Go back to Kataka Mukha. And then Alapadma. Because these are the two, and we have 28 such hand movements. Maybe we'll go through all of them first. The first one is Pataka. Tripataka. Adda Pataka. Kattari Mukha. Mayura. Ardha Chandra, Arala, Shukatunda, Mushtishya, Shikarakashya, Kapitta, Katakamukha, Suchi, Chandra Kala, Padma Kosha, Sarpa Sirsha, Mriga Sirsha, Simha Mukha, Kangula, Alapadma, Chatura, Brahmara, Hamsasya, Hamsapaksha, Samdamsa, Mukula, Tamrachura, Trishuda. So those were 28 hand gestures. And each of them have a meaning. Each of them have very specific hand, uh, specific usages. And the, the dancers learn each one of them. So the, just try it out with her. You're going to use two specific ones for the next movement, which is Katakamukha and Alapadma. Katakamukha and Alapadma. So you just did the footwork earlier with the stretched out leg on the heel in your plie position. Okay? And you bring it back to the center. Then your left leg goes out and you bring it back to the center. Keep your plie, drop into your plie more. Now let's try the hands. The hands start out with the Kataka Mukha in the center. Now, one and two and Tai Yom Ta Ta Tai Yom Ta Ta Tai Yom once more. Five. Start from the center with both legs and feet in center. Now we'll go to the center. Five, six, seven, eight. Just before this.
this, you learned another step, which was the sole of the foot and back to the center, the sole of the foot and back to the center. So let's try the same hands and do diagonal stretches, okay? Five, six, six, seven, eight. Six, eight, five, six, seven, eight. Thumbs down if I'm going too fast. Thumbs up if the speed that I'm teaching you is okay. Thumbs up, okay? We're okay? Good, okay. All right. So we'll teach you another step, which is called the Didite. So this is another variation of a footwork. Great, okay. So just watch your feet come closer. So this is where we, where we cross the foot at the back. This, this, this. So we cross, go slower. So back foot, stamp with the right foot and bring it back to the side. Then with the left, stamp, front, Can we try that? Five, six, seven, In the second speed. I love it. Who is that? Let me see who that is. Okay, who is that? Who is that? Uh, I don't see the name. The person in Galaxy. Oh, wow. I love it. I love it. He's already tying it in the second speed. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's do it once more and then we'll add hands to it. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight. Okay, shall we add hands to it? Lovely. Good work. Oh my God, what lovely dancers. Amazing, but staying in the plie is hard, isn't it? Right? My dancers complain all the time. They complain all the time. It's hard sitting in Aramandi. Right, Maya? Right, Myla? Yeah, she's one of my students. Oh, it's painful. All right. Anyway, that's a good workout, but let's go now. Get deeper in your plies, everybody. Oh, you can do it. Some of you are ballet dancers. You know what that feels like. Let's go, let's go. Five, six. Five, six, seven, eight. Right? 
Okay, let's do it again. Lata, Lata, the only thing that happened is that when you use the instrument, we cannot hear the, 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 the rhythm because I think it's a little too close to the speaker or to the computer. If you move one meter be, like out uh, away from the computer, then your your um, she's okay there. It's your is when you mark the rhythm in the with your stick. You have okay, to. I won't it. use it. I won't yes. use it. That's the only thing that we cannot hear. Okay, then I won't use it. Okay, let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. Dip, dip, hey. Dip, dip. allows you to move in space. Okay, so this one, it's a little different. So just watch, come up closer. Just show them the feet. Okay. Ta, te, te, ta, dip, make a square, cross, and back. Stand, step over, Cross together. Stop. Once again. Five, six, seven, eight. Step. Big step. Cross together. One, two. Step. Cross together, drop, step together. Was that possible? Let me just watch you all do it. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, step over, cross together, step over, cross together. Stop, step, cross, together, step. You need to take a bigger step because this is a moving step. When we do it, we move with it, okay? So right now you're learning it, you don't move too much, but just show them how you would move in it. Five, six, seven, eight, up, three, three, up. So it's actually a moving step. So make sure you move in it, okay? Okay, so let's do that once more and then we'll show you the hands with. Five, six, seven, eight. Cross and come back together. Five, adding hands to it now. Again, it uses the same hand gestures that you used before. Okay? Five, six, seven, eight. Five, Once 
once more. And this time, we'll complete the right style and then we'll start on the left side. Hopefully that's not too complicated for you. Just watch it. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, eight, 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 Can I see you try it on your own, maybe? Can I see that? Five, six, seven, eight. Ta, te, te, ta. Dip, te, te, ta, ta, te, te, ta, dip, te, te, ta, ta, te, te, ta, dip, te, te, ta. Ta, te, te, ta, dit, te, te, ta. Very good, great. Some of you just tried only with the hands. I know it's really difficult to put two together at the same time. Want to try it with your feet now, everybody? Let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight. Ta, te, te, ta, te, 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 ta, ta, te, te, ta, te, 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 ta, ta, te, te, ta. And three and two, three and four, and one, two, three and four, and thank you. So, what you would have noticed it that most of the things we did, the steps we did, were all in counts of one, two, or one, two, three, four. But Bharatanatyam also has other complex rhythms. We work in rhythms of three, in fives, in sevens, and nines. So we also do things in very much of cross rhythms. Even though the main rhythm is going in fours, in, in cycles of fours, our rhythms go in cross rhythms. So our footwork and our other rhythms go in cross rhythms of other things. So the music is going in a bed of fours, like in a bed of four rhythms, but our footwork and our movements are sort of going at it in cross rhythms. So it's very fascinating. And so our drumming with it is very, very, very interesting. So if you like, I'll give you a two minute break and Rachna can show you a rhythmic piece, she can perform a rhythmic piece for you that can show you what a performed piece might look like. And then we'll go on to teaching you something interesting. Would you like that? Okay, so Rachna, this is very easy. Sit right 